information tonight into the turmoil surrounding a proposed turnpike expansion. The plan to add three extensions have been met with a lot of pushback, naturally, especially from the hundreds of families and business owners that can be forced from their property to make room for the new road. And now it seems like the Oklahoma Turnpike Authority might have expected the criticism. Newly released information shows the OTA purchased more than 20 domain names just weeks before announcing the expansion. Most of those website addresses containing negative terms about the project. Ashley Moss explains. Well, you're probably saying domain names. What's the big deal? But this information is from an email presented in a deposition Wednesday for one of the Turnpike lawsuits. OTA presumably asking an outside PR firm to snag 23 domain names before potential opponents of the project could use them. StopAccessOklahoma.com, StopAccess.com, NoAccessOklahoma.com, StopTheLoop.com. Snapping up all conceivable uh, names that any opponent might want to try to use. The message obtained by News 4 and dated February 7th shows a request from Oklahoma Transportation to an outside PR firm to purchase more than 20 domain names. And we think that this is very strong evidence of the OTA's willfulness in, uh, in, in executing their secret plan. Turnpike opponents are calling this a bombshell of an email, saying it's clear evidence of the agency's attempt to suppress any public opposition to the Access Oklahoma project days before it was even announced. Tanner, a web developer and part of the Pike Up OTA group, says it's not unusual to buy domains similar to your own. But to sit out there and buy up your oppositions, it shows definite intent that uh, they didn't want any kind of pushback on this project. We contacted the OTA and have not heard back yet. However, in a statement to News 4 just last week, a representative from Oklahoma Transportation said, quote, the Oklahoma Turnpike Authority is supportive of the court's process to ultimately provide clarity on the issue. However, the other side says it's just more evidence that the agency hasn't been upfront about its plans. It will force OTA to go back and have those meetings over again and specifically lay out their plans. Next week, we might get some answers as to what lies ahead for the project. On Monday, the judge assigned to the case is going to hear arguments from both sides on motions for summary judgment, and he could issue a ruling once that happens. Thank you, 